Hello YouTubers, so today I'm going to attempt to install everyone's favorite application on this channel called School Bell, which I have the application here in one mp3 file, by the way that's a Rowland tone, those of you that are wondering, you'll find out at the end. Yeah, we're going to try to install School Bell attempt, I have not installed it yet on this supposedly trial version of Windows 11, this leaked build as people call it which I managed to get a copy of this to myself so we're gonna install school bill I have my amplifier on here so yes I want that so that's your typical warning screen now yeah the windows popping up so far obviously I want to put school bill because that's what we want. I've never done the client, in case you're wondering. Stall. Oh, here we go. It looks like something's going to... Oh, boy. Here we go. That was easy. In fact, it's kind of fast. Yeah, that's right, guys. What you're seeing here is... You're seeing School Bell working on... <laughs> on this leaked version of Windows 11 and I'll pull up the specs so you guys can see that it's legit because I know some people out there may think it's a fake copy but it really isn't it's a leaked bill that everyone keeps talking about so I gotta go to this PC and I want to view the system properties which obviously click that little icon there like you always would to view the system property specs and so here we go that's legit right there the date was yesterday so that's when I installed it as you can see there like I said this is not an official copy this is just kind of a leaked bill that I don't know how I'm sure Microsoft or someone did it on purpose to say how to get everyone hyped but hey it's worth trying stuff out so yeah, school bell's working, so we're going to set some stuff here. So I have that file put on the desktop, and yes, that's a cu custom album in case you're wondering. So I want to go to timetables. And right now, I mean, I kind of glanced over the time, so right now it's 7.01, so I want to kind of play with some stuff here. So we want to set, I'm going to say enter time directly. Let's say 7.03. And that time is accurate. Oops, I forgot to click the shift key. Which, that's what I want. Making typos today. It's kind of hard. Kind of hard to hit the camera off to the side here, so. And obviously, and I don't know if you guys can see, but I want to make sure it's not AM, we want PM. So we want to click OK. 703. We want to get rid of the standard. In fact, I want to go to settings. Because that's where you would go. And then you want to go into sounds. And I want to add this in. So I want to go to desktop. Here's my tone. Open. OK. It successfully imported it. I don't know if you could hear it, but I kind of heard a faint. Try it again. Yeah, so right now, it's a little bit faint. Volume's at 67. I'm just going to play with the volume a little bit here. Make sure I have a little hotkey on the keyboard, too, for volume, so... Yeah, so it's a little low here, so I'm going to try to figure this out off camera here, but so far we're somewhere. Info, and it just went off, obviously, so I'll correct. I'll look, go troubleshoot this a little bit, and I'll get back to you guys.
Okay, so you guys, so uh, it was something very minor. I accidentally had the computer, the actual host operating system, muted. That's why I wasn't hearing anything. It, it did go. Now, there was one little problem, though. And this is, I think this has something to do with the virtual machine, but when a, some songs or, like, tones stop playing, it kind of, like, does a, it kind of glitches a little bit at the end. It just stays like that until another sound comes through. Now, I don't blame that on this build of Windows. That's just VirtualBox doing its thing, because, you know, VirtualBox has its own set of bugs. So, yeah. I have nothing set yet, so it's going to be 707. It's 707 now, so... I want to go to timetables. I'm going to change this to 708. So, 7... Oh, 08 kind of do this really quick on the on the fly okay and I don't know if you guys can see it but try to do this really quick Rowland Telecenter and then info and Friday there we go. Here we go. Here we go, guys. This is the countdown. This is all running on Windows 11, the leaked build. They have the AA30PHD on, so. Wow, that actually did play very well this time. Yeah, you just witnessed School Bell completely functioning. <laughs> On Windows 11 Pro, at least that's the edition I selected. <laughs> now, you guys, I don't know, I'll play it. I'll try to set it again for you guys so you can see the signal light, because I think some of you like to see that kind of stuff, so. Timetables. It can, it's completely functional. <laughs> Try to do this really quick. It has to have a wireless mouse, PM. If I didn't miss it already. There we go. There's that. This is the PhD app. So I know some of you like to see that. Yeah, that, that's my simulator Rowland Telecenter tone. Yeah, I just only went through they only went through these two speakers. So yeah. That's proof that this actually will work in the next version of Windows possibly. And please note, this school bill application was only designed to run up to Windows 7. From Windows 95 to, to Windows 7, and here we are some years later. Running this on a potential future build of Windows. That's amazing. I know this might be informational to you guys because I know some of you guys out in the audience wonder if this will work on work on newer versions of Windows. It depends on the hardware specs, like the actual host operating system on this computer here. I have a hard time getting it to work. It just won't open up. But on the x86 version of Windows 10, it will run just fine. And this is actually just a 64-bit, which is aka x64. So yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed this little entertainment video of School Bell. If it will run on Windows 11, the potential future of Windows. Sure enough, it works. So stay tuned for more. And I hope this was helpful to you guys out there.